Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, Dad. Um, where's Mom? Hmm? Oh, she went on some type of business trip or something. I don't really know. Oh, okay. Just wondering. be oh it's it's alice i guess i'll just call her she might not get my text hello yeah hello hey alice what was that text message about oh yeah can we come over um what do you mean we you know our little friend group oh yeah um my mom went on a business trip I'll go ask my dad. All right, that's fine. All right, I'll text you. All righty. All right, bye. Bye. Hey, Dad. Alice and a few other um, of my friends want to come over. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine with me. Just as long as y'all don't stay in the house all, the, all day. Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. I guess I'll wait about 30 minutes. Oh, that must be them. Well, when you said a few other friends, I didn't know you meant four other friends. Come on, guys. You know I don't have a lot of money. My house isn't even that big. Well, we can go over somewhere else and just bring you somewhere. Uh, go ask my dad. Yeah, I heard what they said. Yeah, go ahead. Alrighty then. Thank you. Alright guys, let's hit the road. Wait for me guys. Can you kids go to your room please? Yes, you're making lots of ruckus. Okay, bye, my dad. Sissy. Sissy. Brother. Brother. <laughs> I love you guys too, but we're here to hang out, okay? We can play tonight and maybe draw like you guys are doing now. Okay. Alrighty, let's go to my room. Well, I think I'll sit here. Well, you know I really don't like being in your room. Well, if you don't want to be in here with your friends, then you can leave. So that's your problem. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So what should we do? Should we go get some coffee or... Uh, what on dog's earth was that? Oh, it looks like they're finally destroying the hospital. That one that's haunted? Well, it's just a theory that it's haunted. I don't think it actually is haunted. Guys, I know this sounds like a terrible idea, but what if we could go there? That is a terrible idea. We're not going there. First of all, it's dangerous because they're destroying it. Second of all, we can get caught and get in really big trouble. Third of all, who knows? Something can fall on us. Nobody knows what could happen. That's not a good idea. Alice is right. We could get hurt. Or get a splinter or you know it's probably really disgusting in there exactly very disgusting and I just got some new Gucci outfits and I'm not about to get them crusty and dusty with that hospital stuff also guys you know I'm not that good with that kind of stuff I don't like scary stuff and haunted stuff yeah but Alice does have a point it's just a theory also you know with with Alice, she is always scared of stuff. And if she doesn't believe that's real, I don't think it is. Also, it's just an abandoned hospital. It's not like anything would even be there. The worst that could happen is we get caught by a worker. But that's really the worst. Or something could fall on us. 
I doubt something would fall on us. But to be honest, if we had to make a decision, I'm in because today has been so boring. I'd be in. I do this kind of stuff all the time. I love paranormal stuff. I was the one with the idea, so of course I'm in. Well, I guess if y'all are in, then I guess I'm in. But, I mean, uh, fine. I guess we can go because, you know, I just really want something to do. But if my Gucci outfit gets dirty in any way, one of y'all is paid for it. Dude, not it. Not it. Not it. Not it. Oh, come on. So that just brings it down to Chi Chi. What? What about? What? I, no, we're not going. It's too dangerous. Who knows what could happen? Come on, Chi Chi. We're all going. And if you're not going, then I guess you could just go back home. Or no, we just got here. I'm not going home. We we why don't we just hang out here for a little bit before we go? So we are going. What? No. Ugh. Fine, but. Can we at least stay here for a bit? Well, yeah, I guess. My mom's about to cook lunch and, you know, I guess, um, she's not going to want me to miss lunch. I'll go ask her if y'all can all stay the night and you two boys can stay in Josh's room and you two girls can stay in my room. I'll be back. Mom, Dad, can my friend stay the night? Yes, as long as you can get Josh to clean his room, then yes, they can. If not, then no. Already. Mama, that's not fair. Yeah, Mama. Oh, here we go. Okay, well, they said yes, as long as Josh cleans his room. Then I'll go ahead and get to it. So, when are we going? Uh, I don't know. It's time for lunch. All right, it's lunchtime. Let's go. And I was like, ah! Yeah, yeah. And then he was like, whoa. And then the whole school was crowded. So we were like, move, move. And this Miss Applewood was like furious. And everyone left the class early, even though she said the bell doesn't dismiss you, I do. And everybody walked out the door anyway. And we were like, see ya. <laughs> Memories. Oh yeah, about that hospital. I think we should read about it on Google before we do anything, really. Alright then. Crap, I left my phone at the table. I'll be right back. Alright, got it. Alright. Eckhart Hospital. Not a lot showed up. There's one article. Let's see what it says. Alright, it says, May 23rd, 1992, Acorn Hospital opened, and it was beautiful. Pence went there all the time, but in July 2004, on the 15th, a mother and son went to the hospital. The doctor was the mother's best friend. She trusted her to make sure her boy would get better. The doctor began removing blood. She got out of paw and removed way too much blood. The mother was so upset. She was furious at the doctor. Her boy sadly passed away a day afterwards. The mother sued the hospital. And suffering from depression, the mother killed the doctor. Legend says the doctor stays in the abandoned hospital wishing she could have saved the boy. Many pets believe she would never harm anyone again, even though she is a ghost. The mother died in a horrible car crash November 7, 2005. They say the mother's ghost stays in the abandoned hospital in the daycare because her son loved it. And... Oh, wait, there's one more thing that it says. It says, no one has taken photos on social media, so nobody knows if they're really ghosts. That poor mother. And I kind of feel bad for the doctor. The doc it says the doctor wished that she could have saved the boy, and the poor boy, the poor everyone. It did say nobody has taken photos on social media, so it might not be real. It might just be a rumor. 
The picture of the mother and son is on there, and so is the picture of the nurse. Oh, look, there's another thing. It says, they say that if you go at night, you can see the two ghosts fight. Is that a metaphor, or is that a theory? I think it's both. Well, I personally don't want to go at night, so let's just go now. It's already getting dark outside. All right, then. I'll go ahead and text my parents that I'm staying the night, and we're going to go get coffee. Oh, no. That wouldn't take that long. Then we won't stay that long. Thank you. Uh, okay, we'll just say, yeah, we're going to go get some something to eat. Yeah, I say it's dessert, though, because my parents, um, you know, we just ate lunch, so they'll think something's up. Yeah. All right, then, I think we should all text our parents. I'll go tell our parents. Mom, Dad, we're going to go get some dessert. Might take us a bit, because, um, you know, how Daisy is, she might want to go shopping or something. I don't know. But we're going to go and get some dessert from, like, I don't know, somewhere. We're still thinking about it. Alrighty, then. That's perfectly fine. Just be back before 7. Okay. Okay, he said that's fine, and we have to be back before 7. Alright, I texted my parents. I texted my dad. My parents literally do not care. I... I tried asking them if I could even go or leave the house, and they said, go do some drugs, go somewhere, I don't care, just go do something. You're all, always in the house, so I don't really need to ask. And I asked my parents, too. Alrighty, then, we're all set. Alright, let's go. Guys, it's not too late to turn back. I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere. Look at this. Actually, it is too late to turn back now. Come on, Chi-Chi, we're already here. Now let's just go in. Whoa. Come on, guys. Sweet. Trouble for my fur. Uh, uh, ow. Uh, I guess I'll go. Whoa! Huh, totally not jumping. I'm a man. Uh. Whoa, the lights are flickering. Whoa. Uh, maybe they're automatic? Ew, there's dirt all over the floor. Guys, look. This was the front desk. This is so cool. I mean, just look at this. Whoa, sis, let's not touch anything. Ugh, fine. Look at this. This is so cool. No way, they actually still have the clipboard that says all the appointments. Whoa, wait. Is this the hat from... That doctor? What the heck was that? What? Oh, uh, must have been my imagination. Yeah, must have. Anyway, I'm gonna read this. Okay, I'll, I'll just stay right next to you. This place is awesome! You know, I think I'll just stay right next to Alice. <laughs> I'm gonna prank Daisy. Daisy, there's something in your teeth. What? Where? Ah, uh, a mirror. Where? I don't see it. Tom, where is it? Where? Uh, what the heck was that? What the heck was what? Uh, 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 never mind. That's cool. <gasps> Guys, I just got an idea. Since there's six of us, we can all pair up into a group of two. And each group can look at a certain floor. What do y'all say? Yeah, I'm down, but I want to work with Daisy. Ugh, fine. Uh, I'm obviously working with Josh. He's my brother. I want to go with Alex. He knows this kind of stuff. And I know, and I'm scared. Oh, oh okay. Um, alright. Uh, 
I guess me and Daisy can look at the third story. Yeah, whatever. Okay, then me and Josh will look at the second. Uh, where do we look? Let's just look down here. Okay. Well then, let's go. Yes, another mirror. Yeah, yeah, you do you. Whoa. This light's going out. Whoa. What is it? Oh, I guess I'm just imagining things. Well, I guess I'll go in here and look. Ugh. Oh, great. They're docky doors. Ew, it's disgusting in here. No, there's blood everywhere. No, 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 no. Nope. Ugh, I guess I had to look at the other one. Nope, it's dark and it looks disgusting in there. So I'm leaving. We can go in here. Holy crap. There's stuff everywhere. What the heck is that yellow stuff? Ew, don't touch that. That's urine. Ew! Ew! Looks like Jason found something nasty. Yep. Let's go on in. Whoa, whoa, wait for me. Whoa. I can't believe they'd leave all this here. Whoa, why the heck did that turn on? Huh? What are you talking about? It's not on. Yes, it is! What are you talking about? Look, if this is some type of joke or something, it's really not funny. It's just stupid. But I'm being so serious, it's on! It's... Wait, what? Come on, Josh, it's not funny. This room doesn't have much to it. Neither does the floor. Let's just go back and meet Chi-Chi and Alex. But I swear, it was on. It's fine, just don't worry about it. It was either you pranking me or your imagination. Now let's go. Well, let's go in here. Whoa. Ah. No, I, I can't do this. Why is there a heartbeat? There's nobody there. It must be ghosts. Come on, let, let's go back. No, we can't. Guys, it's time to go home. It's almost seven. See, now let's go. Now for the cheese. Mom, we're home. Wow, that mac and cheese smells really good. Yep, it's almost done too. All right, nice. So what did y'all have for dessert? Oh, we just had some cake, you know. It, it was really good. We had a little bit of ice cream too. Wasn't that strawberry cake so good? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, <coughs> it is so good. Hmm. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Food will be ready in five. Okay. Just go ahead and sit at the table. Okay. Come on, you two. Let's go sit at the table. Okay, Dada. Okay, Dada. Wow, Mom. This looks so good. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> Yummy. <sighs> Come on, mittens. At least use a spoon. No. Yeah, no. Yeah. Who wants more cheese in theirs? Me. Okay. And that's the loss of it. Yeah, and then guess what happened after that? What happened? He fell. <laughs> oh, come on. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I'm home. Whoa. That was weird. Um, Dad? Oh, Mom, you're back. 
What is it? I missed you. Do these damn dishes. Ow! I, I'm sorry. I, I, I just didn't have time. I do the damn dishes and get out of my face. I'm going to bed, and you should too. Who gave you permission to go out? Dad, Dad did. Don't play dumb. Seriously? That's the worst excuse ever. He wasn't even here. What? Yeah, he was. He, he said you were on a business trip. Yeah. Ugh. Seriously? I was in my bed. You woke up so early. I, I, no, what? Do the damn dishes and leave me alone. Uh, what? <sighs> okay. They're all clean. <sighs> so, I'll go put the dishes away then. Shut up. Kids, uh, it's time for bed. Alice, could you take them to bed? Uh, yeah. Come on. <sighs> After a long day. <sighs> I guess I could call a few of my friends. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Hey Daisy, uh, you wanna come hang out? Hey, um, I would, but I just got to the spa. I'm about to get my paws done. But maybe sometime around five. Oh, no worries. I'll just hang out with someone else. Okay, then. Bye. Bye. Uh, I'll call Alice. Hello? Hello? You want to come hang out with me? Sorry, I can't. I'm about to go to Starducks with my brother. We're going to take our siblings. I would love to, though. I just can't right now. I'm a little busy. Maybe tomorrow, since tomorrow still... Sunday. Um, yeah, sure. Bye. Bye. Alright, I guess I'll go get my siblings. What was that? What's going on? Mom! I don't understand. What did I do? Where did I mess up? You threw a bowl at me. You did all of this. But why? The argument we had last night. I can't stand you! <sighs> I can't do this anymore. I can't do this family anymore. Dad, Dad, please. We didn't do anything. Dad, Dad. Why you do that to Mommy? Guys, what is going on? I thought we were going to go to Starducks. We were. Come on, we got to go hunt Alice's room. Why didn't y'all call the cops? <laughs> Brother tried, but Daddy threatened him so he couldn't. <laughs> yeah. It's true. This has been going on since 10 o'clock in the morning. We made the plan to go to Starducks at 9.30. We were going to go to Starducks and go to Target and get stuff. Today was going to be a great day. What happened? I just got off the phone with um, Jason, and he, I told him that we were going to go to Starducks. I know. We need to call the cops, but I don't know what Dad will do before they get here. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> it's going to be okay. I'm going to go make sure Mom's okay. No, it's too dangerous. Just stay in here, and we'll figure out what to do. Mom is more important right now, and I'm willing to sacrifice myself. I'm your older sister, and if anyone's dying first, it's gonna be me. 
this is wait <sighs> mom mom get up mom mom <laughs> what did you do to her i threw two bulls at her why what did she do to you she provided for us made sure we stayed healthy bought groceries took care of the house and most importantly she loved us especially you and you did this in return you're terrible i hate you and i'm calling the cops even if it's risking my life i don't care oh no you're not the couch is broken i mean i mean oh no you didn't Hello, sis, hello, can you hear me? Are you okay? Mother? <laughs> yes. Is this gonna be okay? I'm not sure, but I hope so. All we have to do is pray and hope for the best. That was a very strong piece of metal from that couch. That could have really damaged her. No, Sissy. It's gonna be okay. They're gonna arrest Dad, and Mama is perfectly fine. Just a few cuts and might need some stitches. <laughs> I know. It's not fun. But she'll be okay. Yes, nobody's gonna answer the phone. Eh, I'll go smoke a cigarette. Alrighty then. Yeah, thank you again. My paws are gonna be looking so cute. Well, we definitely try our best. Hey, Sonny, could you do her other side for me? Yeah, sure. Let me get the supplies. Thanks. Sorry, we're really trying to get this done quick as possible. I'm sure you want to get out of here and we have many more appointments. Oh, no, I completely understand. It's fine. And yeah, my friend wants to hang out with me later anyway. Well, then that's perfect. Well, she's going to go ahead and start on your other side and then we'll paint them. All right, then. Oh, hello. Welcome to Lil's Pet Shop's Nails. How can I help you? Yeah. Ma'am, ma'am, you, you need an appointment. I think I recognize you. Yeah. What the? Ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, get your paws off me. Is there a problem? What the tail is wrong with you? Don't touch me. Ma'am, you, you can't just walk in. Y you need an appointment. This is a public place. Ma'am, I understand that, but you need an appointment. You can't just walk in and, you know, sit in a chair. You need an appointment. Okay, fine. What? Ow. What the tail? Ma'am, you can't do that. What the tail? Leave me alone. What the heck? <laughs> no, it's too similar. Move. Wrong way. Ma'am. Move out of the way. You have to pay. Uh, uh, please just let me out. Do you guys not even finish? Then pay half the price. You can't leave until you pay. Listen, you do not understand. Just move. Not until you. I said move! Ugh. Bro, what? 
Should we call the cops? I would say yes, but I feel like this is gonna make an even bigger problem. Let's just have some more appointments and clean this up. Listen, I don't know what was wrong with that collie, but it seems like as soon as that collie left, that Cocker Spaniel, whatever her name was, she did not seem right. I, it, like, she seemed like she saw, like, a ghost or something. Which, I understand ghosts aren't real. I'm just saying that's how she was acting, like she had seen a ghost. There might have been a reason for that. I'm sure she'll probably end up coming back. She comes uh, pretty often. I just never kept been able to catch her name. Yeah, Velvet, Velvet's right. We shouldn't call the cops. That would just turn this into a bigger problem. Also, she is she does come a lot. So, you know, we'll be able to have her pay then. And, you know, though that does have a point where she was acting like she had seen a ghost. I feel like Maybe something was going on with her. We'll just wait until she comes back. If she doesn't, then we can actually do something about it. So you guys are saying we should just forget this all happened. Yes, there's nothing else we really can do. If we called the cops, they'd probably think we were... And, like, just not even telling the truth. Like, imagine calling the cops and being like, this collie walked in without an appointment, turned her head all the way around, and then a cocker spaniel that we were working on got terrified and ran out the room without paying. Obviously, their main focus would be because she didn't pay. Polly sent her to jail for, like, a few weeks. And... Maybe not even weeks, but maybe a few months, but still, that's all they're going to do about it. Now, I don't believe in ghosts or spirits. I'm not, I'm also not saying that I don't think it was a spirit, okay? I don't believe in them, but I also kind of do. So I'm not saying it wasn't a spirit or a ghost, okay? I'm just saying it's unknown what just happened okay now let's put this all behind us and clean up okay <sighs> hey what's up josh anything going on hey man i don't really know how to explain this but I don't know if Alice is going to make it. What, what do you mean, Alice isn't going to make it? What are you talking about? Well, something happened with my dad, and he threw glass bowls at my mother. She's okay. She just has a few cuts and might need some stitches. But he did throw a broken piece of the couch at Alice, and I'm not sure if she's going to be okay. Wait, what? Oh, what are you talking about? I thought you guys were going to Starbucks. Is she gonna be okay? That's the thing. We, we don't know yet. No, no. Come on, she she's gotta be okay. Look, bro, I hope so too, but I, I don't know yet. <sighs> okay, well, huh? What the? Hang on. I, I gotta go. Bro, you don't care about Alice? I do. I, do. I have to go. Ugh, fine. Bye. Bye. We need to go back. We need to go back. Right now. Let's go. Come on. Get in the car. Daisy, what the tail? I thought you were at the nail salon. And what are you talking about? Look, I was. Okay, I was. I was. I was. The nail salon is only, like, a few... I don't know. The, the, the nail salon's right there, okay? 
you're not that far. Yeah, I was actually planning on picking you up, but yeah, I was gonna call you to confirm, but I guess not. Look, we need to go as far away from here as possible, and we need to go somewhere specific. Now, I get in the car and I'll tell you then. Um, okay. Hurry up. Okay, okay. Now, why did we need to come back here? Just listen, okay? Now, just go in. Okay, okay. Ugh. Why did we need to come back? Look, I read some more about the hospital, and... I think there's a curse. A curse? What are you talking about? Hold on. I'll explain it in the waiting room. It's more comfortable. Wait. Why do we have to go in there? I don't even want to be here. I just told you. It's more comfortable. I'll tell you, okay? Come on. We can go to my house or your house and you can tell me there. You don't have to tell me here. Come on, you didn't want to ruin your fur. And there's piss upstairs. I mean, it's nasty. This place, there's stuff all over the floors and... Come on, it stinks. It smells like, it smells like dead body. Let's just go to my place and tell me there. Look, you'll understand why we need to say it here once I tell you. This isn't a choice. We shouldn't have ever came here. And I don't think it's ever going to get better if I tell you, if I don't tell you. And also, at this point, I don't even care if my fur gets ruined. And the piss is upstairs. It's not like it's down here and it's going to spill on your head. Stop making it a big deal. You'll understand when I tell you. You were the whole you were the whole reason we came in the first place. If you would have never said something, we would have never got cursed. Cursed? I didn't know we were going to get cursed. What are you talking about, cursed? We're not cursed. Did you hear about what happened to Chi-Chi? She was either imagining things or something happened because remember when her dad was there when we came over and she asked? Well, she came home and her mom was pissed because she didn't do the dishes. And she told her that she asked her dad to come hang out with us. And she said, what kind of excuse is that? Her dad wasn't even there. And she said her mom never left the house. And you heard about the thing about Alice. It was on the news. Who knows what can happen to one of us? Anything can happen at any second. And I need you to get over here to prevent that. Let's not talk about Alice right now. And what are you talking about? Chi Chi, that never happened to Chi Chi. Her dad was there. She must be pulling a prank on us. But I did hear the thing about Alice. I didn't know it was on the news though. I didn't watch TV this morning, but fine. I guess I'll listen. Some type of curse. Now, why did we need to come back here? Just listen, okay? Now just go in. Oh, okay, okay. Ugh. Wait, why do we have to go in there? I don't even want to be here. I just told you, it's more comfortable. I'll tell you, okay? Come on. We can go to my house or your house and you can tell me there. You don't have to tell me here. Come on, you didn't want to ruin your fur. And there's piss upstairs. I mean, it's nasty. This place, there's stuff all over the floors, and come on, it stinks. It smells like, it smells like 
dead body. Let's just go to my place and tell me there. Look, you'll understand why we need to say it here once I tell you. This isn't a choice. We should have never came here. And I don't think it's ever going to get better if I tell you, if I don't tell you. And also, at this point, I don't even care if my fur gets ruined. And the piss is upstairs. It's not like it's down here and it's going to spill on your head. Stop making it a big deal. You'll understand when I tell you. You were the whole you were the whole reason we came in the first place. If you would have never said something, we would have never got cursed. Cursed? I didn't know we were going to get cursed. What are you talking about cursed? We're not cursed. Did you hear about what happened to Chi-Chi? She was either imagining things or something happened because Remember when her dad was there when we came over and she asked? Well, she came home and her mom was pissed because she didn't do the dishes. And she told her that she asked her dad to come hang out with us. And she said, what kind of excuse is that? Her dad wasn't even there. And she said her mom never left the house. And you heard about the thing, Veralis. It was on the news. Who knows what can happen to one of us? Anything can happen at any second. And I need you to get over here to prevent that. Let's not talk about Alice right now. And what are you talking about? Chi Chi, that never happened to Chi Chi. Her dad was there. She must be pulling a prank on us. But I did hear the thing about Alice. I didn't know it was on the news though. I didn't watch TV this morning. But, fine, I guess I'll listen. Some type of curse. Also, the thing about Alice, her parents were planning a divorce before we even came. Huh? How would you know that? You couldn't tell when we came to her house? It was pretty obvious. They were arguing. No, they seemed like a perfect family. And... The thing about Alice wasn't something that was planned. Yeah, if it wasn't planned, her dad probably went on drugs that night. I think I saw some drugs in the kitchen that night we went. Look, even if that was true, how can you explain the thing about Chi Chi, huh? Again, she's probably pulling a prank on us. You know how she is. You know, since we kind of made her come to the hospital, she's probably getting a little revenge. What kind of revenge is a stupid prank saying that your parents are probably quote unquote ghosts? That's a stupid way to get revenge. Trust me, I've known Chi Chi for five years. She's not like that. If any kind of, if any kind of prank that she would pull it would be a stupid one, but not like that. What I mean by stupid one is she puts like water on the floor for you to trip or an empty water bottle on the door for it to fall on your head. She wouldn't make up something like that. Trust me, once I explain what I read, you'll completely understand why I think this is true. Okay, well, what did you read then? You brought me to this hospital, running out of the nail salon. Like, and then you, you didn't even tell me yet. I came and sat here. I came over like you told me. Now, come on, just tell me. I want to leave anyway. Oh, trust me. Once I tell you, we're not done. Once I tell you what I read, we can't leave yet. We're gonna have to go and get Alex. Why Alex? He's my best friend. I don't wanna get him into any of this. You don't understand, Jason. We don't have a choice. This is your fault. And if you wanna get rid of it, 
You're gonna have to suffer the consequences. You haven't even told me yet, so I don't even know if I want to get rid of it. Who knows what can happen next? Alex can be put in a coma like Alice. Okay? Yes, you're going to want to fix it. Okay, okay, jeez. Just tell me. And then we can put it all behind us. There is no putting it behind us, Jason. Okay? So let me tell you what I read. Finally, I've been waiting forever. So, I was doing more research on the hospital. I found a thing that had something to do with a curse. There were a few notes and one of them was perfect. There was only one ritual that would stop all of the curses, it said. I didn't know what to say, so I tried calling you. And, yeah, the note was pretty accurate. I don't think that was a coincidence, Jason. Okay, okay, I admit. That doesn't sound like a coincidence. But I still don't understand. Why did we have to say it here? Jason, one of the notes read, if you come back and discuss, things will turn up. So you're telling me I'm going to get a call on my phone and it's going to be Alex saying, hey, let's go to the hospital. Hmm? Who's that? It's Alex? What did I say? Hello? Hey, do you want to go back to the hospital? It was really fun. No way. He actually asked? Hey, <laughs> what did I tell you? It's true. Hey! So do you want to go or not? I just got a text from him saying if I want to go or not. Tell him you're already here. I'm already here. Um, he said he's on his way. Okay, tell him we have to tell you something. Me and Daisy have to tell you something. Oh, that must have been Alex. Really? You think Alex would knock on the door? He would just come in. Why would he just knock? I don't know. Maybe it is him. You never know. We can't just leave him out there. Alex wouldn't knock. He'd jump in here to scare us because we're in an abandoned hospital and it's quote unquote cursed and haunted. He would barge in to scare us. He wouldn't knock on the door politely. He's not polite. Hey, don't say that. He's my best friend. It doesn't matter who he is, Jason. It, he, I don't think that's him. Well, either way, I'm going to go get the door because I don't want to just leave him. The door is unlocked. He can come in himself and it is him. Huh? That's strange. There's no one out there. I told you. This place is haunted. Well, I guess we should just wait for him. How long is he going to take? I don't know, but we might as well just start the thing if he doesn't show up. I know, right? <gasps> oh, sorry, guys. I came as quick as I could. Sorry it took so long. So what are we doing? There's a curse to this hospital, and since we all came, um, yeah, we're all cursed. And the only way to stop it is by doing this ritual. Now, Chi-Chi... Alice and her brother got cursed already. We are the only ones who haven't gotten cursed yet. It's true. So. And that's what happened. And that's all the, how everybody else got cursed. Daisy, that's crazy, but how do we start it? We need to, ex first we need to be familiar with the entire hospital. And... Lots of things are going to happen that I cannot barely explain. <sighs> Who's willing to sacrifice themselves for our lives? Because one of them is going to have to die. That sounds very violent, but it's going to happen. I read about it, and either we have really good luck 
or one of us is gonna die somehow. You know how we didn't see much on the internet and on Google when we looked it up? But we're not the first to do this. Wait a minute, so you're telling me someone else has done this ritual and gotten cursed? Not just someone else. Like, five other groups of friends have done this, and only one of those five has gotten the good luck. Hopefully, we can be two in that six, because I don't want one of us to die. Alice and her brother are already suffering over their curse. Chi Chi is out of her mind because her curse doesn't even make sense. And our curse is unknown from now. Well, I mean, I kind of got my curse in the paw salon, but it, that doesn't matter. That's besides the point. There's only one more that's going to get cursed and one that's going to die. I got my curse already. Yeah, you told me about that. Well, what are we waiting for? We need to start it. Let's get familiar with the hospital and we'll just go from there. Okay. Um, which floors have we not looked at? Me and Jason already looked at the third floor. Um, a few of our other friends looked at the other floors, but we weren't able to look at all of them, and those few friends are not all of us, so we might have to go through the entire place. Literally, literally some of us haven't even been through that wall right there. Only Chi Chi and Alex have. So I feel like we should start there and move our way up. Okay, I guess you could say that's a plan. All right, let's do this and get this over with. Okay. I'll go in first since I've already been in there. Come on, it's safe. Ugh. Ew, ew, it touched me. Jason, if you cannot stand a nurse hat, I don't know how you're gonna be able to stand the rest of the hospital because it's gonna get worse. Come on, let's explore. We should have never came in the first place. Great thinking, Jason. Hey, I didn't think this was going to happen. You guys are really going to put the blame on me? Jason, are you hearing yourself right now? Yes, we're going to put the blame on you. This is your fault. Nobody would have been cursed. Nobody was going to die if, this, if you never even thought of coming. This place is literally being demolished. And we came anyway. If it wasn't for you giving us the idea, we would all be sitting at home watching our phones or we would all be hanging out having a normal day right now. Chi Chi's parents would have never gone crazy or whatever happened. Alice and her brother's parents would have never split up if it wasn't for you. You, Jason, you are the reason that all of this has happened. Now, either you stop complaining or just sit outside. We don't even need you right now. You're the whole reason that this is all happening. You're even the reason why that happened to me at the nail salon. Just look around and tell us if you find anything. <sighs> You know what? Fine. You guys really don't need me. I'm I'm leaving right now. Huh? Jason, look out. Oh, so now you care. Jason, Jason, no. No, you guys don't need me, remember? Jason, look out. Alex. Alex. 
I'm so sorry. I didn't listen. I should have moved. Daisy, you're right. This is my fault. Everything's my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Daisy. It's my fault. It's my fault. <laughs> Jason, wait. No, like you said, you don't need me anyway. This is my fault. <laughs> What is it? It's it's locked. What? Door. It it's locked. I can't open it. You got to be kidding me. I really won't budge. What do we, what do we do? Uh, I don't know. I guess we just have to finish the ritual. But, but what about Alex? We can just leave him there. Jason, that's all we can do. We can't do anything more. The door is locked. We can't call the cops. There's nothing else we can do. We have to finish the ritual. But, but, but. Fine. Let's go get familiar with the hospital. <laughs> wow. This floor has these. I don't even know what that is. What even is this stuff? I should stop touching things. Come on, Daisy, let's go into this room. Oh, all right, let's go. Right behind you. Ugh. Wow. This light is pretty dim. In here? Of course it's dim. This place is abandoned, not brand new. Um, well obviously. Just pointing it out. Come on, let's go to the next floor. Me and you already looked at the third floor. Let's go to the fourth. All right, right behind you. Whoa, there's a daycare? No, duh. Did you not hear the story? Look. Go. Get familiar with this place. Um, why did they put the slide here? I don't know. Maybe it's just to be cool. Leave my hospital now. Oh my dog, Jason, move, go back, go, go now. What, what, don't we have to get familiar? Just, let's go to the next floor. Uh, okay. All right, this is the last floor. Yep, it sure is. Oh, uh. I'll go in this one. Well, this room is pretty small. Well. Places. Really small. Alright, I think I'm familiar enough with it. I'm going back down. Same. Ugh. Oh no. First thing we need is a blood is blood from a friend. I'll go get some. <gasps> oh my dog. Daisy! What, what? What is it? Did you get it? Look, he, he's gone. What? Where'd he go? What? His body couldn't have just disappeared. There's still blood on the floor. Just get it and we can forget about this. But what if somebody caught us? What if they think we're murderers? Who knows what happened, but whatever happened, we need to just get the blood. Come on. 
I got some on my paw. What happened to being sanitary? You seriously just asked me that question? We are fighting for our lives and you asked me what happened to unsanitary? That might have been me before, but not when both of our lives are at risk right now. I'm gonna put it over here. Okay, okay, jeez. Ugh! Bruh. I tripped on this stupid hat. We need this. What could we need that for? We need a precious memory to the hospital. The nurse had this exact hat. We need it. We gotta put it over there. Uh, okay. Okay. Um. The last thing we need is like a piece of um something edible so we need to find something edible oh now i understand why need, we, we need to be familiar because if i if we weren't because then i want to be able to see those lollipops in the emergency room let me go get one nice work jason here it is all right we gotta add, unwrap it it's probably gonna stink but yeah are you gonna take it oh yeah Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> it's an old lollipop, so I'm just gonna put it on top of the blood. Now we can start. Okay. Um, do we stand over here? I don't know what to say. I guess we just stand here. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> what? <gasps> oh my dog! See if the door's unlocked. Uh, uh, uh. Keep trying to push the door. Come on! Come on! Uh, uh, I got it! Come on! I'm so glad we made it out in time. I am too, but listen, I can hear someone arguing in there. These pets are innocent. Stop chasing them around. What have I told you about this? They're in our hospital. They don't belong here. They don't own the place. They just walk in like they do. Coming to explore, to meet us. You don't know why they're here. I do know they want to take my son. They have my son. Luna, you don't understand. Your son is in heaven. He made it. We couldn't find the afterlife. Just because we couldn't find it doesn't mean he didn't. I did everything I could, but he wasn't able to make it. And this is our life. We stay in the hospital, and he stays up there. Do you understand now? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I, I've been blaming you for nothing. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm happy for him. I'm glad he found it. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I, 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 I don't know what got into me. I don't know what I was thinking. I think we should go in and see. Are you crazy? Yes, I am crazy. Oh, that's so sweet. Huh. We, we need to go. <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, for what? <laughs> I'm sorry for blaming this on you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. I need to tell you something, but... I don't think it's time yet. Come on, it's fine. You can tell me. I... No, it's it's fine. Hey. You can tell me anything. We're best friends. I thought Alex was your best friend. He was, but... He's not here anymore. I love you! What? I, I gotta go. Sorry for what? Blaming you. Come on. 
we should head back to our rooms. I'm sorry I couldn't save your save your child. Daniel did nothing. I really tried. I I don't know what happened. It's fine, I forgive you. I know it wasn't your fault. All this time I've been trying to kill the dead and we're already dead and there's nothing I can do. I'm just glad you can accept that. I'm gonna head back to the daycare. You should head back to the emergency room. All right. Yeah, I know. Crazy times we've had in the past. Yeah, well, Miss Alex, we've known him since we've all been together. We all met in kindergarten. It's sad, we had to let him go. Yeah, I know it is. Yeah, it really is. Me and Daisy were there. We were. It was really hard to see. But he will always be with us in our hearts. Yep, he will. It's okay. <sighs> really crazy times. It's almost like he's right here with us.